Now, let me... Um, it's here in my stack. KTLA uh, Drudge had it up yesterday. I shot a video for it on Aaron Dyke's YouTube channel. In fact, I want to get that posted up at Infowars.com or PrisonPata.com. Uh, and, and I said this to do, and I wish I would have shot a iPhone video on the fly when I was in L.A. this weekend. I was watching the fear-mongering Friday night that it was the end of the world when they shut down the 405 and I said, they're going to start doing this all the time. This is part of Agenda 21, the way they were hyping it. And, of course, it turned out there wasn't a disaster. There weren't big traffic jams. And now that TV station and others are saying, we just need to order people when they can leave their house, when they can drive. We need to shut down more roads and not let people have extracurricular driving. Well, that's what the British government's calling for. They show kids cartoons where in the future you'll be, have, you'll be given a government allotment of what you can eat and do. That's smart growth. And then I saw another article where in Germany they're saying by 2020, no single parent homes. You'll have to live in government dormitories. Um, and I see other reports where, you know, what type of toilet, what type of light bulb, uh, can't pack your kids' lunches, uh, can't have a guard in your front yard. It's prison. Um, living in Europe, in the United States, under the global government model, is living as a prisoner. They're cutting off the resources to get you to a third world level so they can starve you to death and say, oh, you want welfare because you can't get a job? you got to be sterilized. Now, it's a death sentence for the third world, the carbon taxes that are going in. Then meanwhile, in their sick joke, they get $5 million in tax incentives because they say the F1 taxpayer paid for racetrack to be built outside Austin, owned by this big globalist, is good for the earth. So when Al Gore gets a 20,000 square foot mansion, it's for the earth, it's green. When you have a tiny 600 square foot, 700 square foot apartment, you get taxes on you. It is, it is such a sickening, disgusting joke. When we for years expose that every city, 70 plus percent of the population drinks fluoridated water, that between 150 and 300 plus chemicals are added, including a radioactive isotopes. Well, they're now claiming the radiation is in the aquifers not in the fluoride because we forced this out in the open. We'll be right back. Stay with us. More extremely informative guests tomorrow and throughout the week. I want to say great job to the crew. I want to jam in as many calls as, as we can right now. John, Kathy, Cindy, Scanner, and others. John in Texas, you're on the air. Welcome. Hi, Alex. Two things I'll tell you in the real quick. Uh, KUT tonight at the Cactus Cafe are having like, a little discussion forum session about this past session of the Texas legislature and members of the public are invited to attend so I'm going to be there and get my 10 cents worth and any other listeners want to turn up. Are uh, you the Scotsman that uh, came down to the Capitol when we stormed it? That's me, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this, this second thing real quick, it's funny, the, the news of the world being uh, the story it is at the moment. I was, uh, I was living in London back in the 80s, in 86, I, uh, I was working for a catering temp agency, and I used to go to this place called the HAC, which was the Honourable Artillery Company. It was the headquarters of the oldest regiment in the British Army. It was founded in King Henry VIII's time. And they used, to, they used to hire out the hall for functions. And there was a big sex scandal broke this about 1986, and I think it involved someone in the government. I can't swear to that, but I remember... The madam's name was Cynthia Payne, and she had hired this place of the HAC for a dinner this night, and there was a couple of reporters from the News of the World snipping around, but they never made it past security to get inside. Now, strangely enough, a couple of nights later, the News of the World themselves had the place hired for a staff party, and there was all sorts of shenanigans going on there. There was actually a fight broke out. And there was a couple of people, there was a couple, rather, behind this grand piano in the corner of the room getting pretty friendly with each other. Well, the story in the news of the world that Sunday was all about these shenanigans, but they attributed, they attributed it to the, the function previously of Cynthia Payne. So, <laughs> I just so, that's how in, so that's how incredible these people are. Well, what do you think about the reporter that first broke the news being found dead today and the police out of the gates are saying no big deal? I'll tell you what, mate, nothing, nothing surprises me anymore, Alex. Absolutely nothing. Well, John, uh, where is that event again tonight? 
It says the Cactus Cafe on the UT campus. It oh. starts at 6 o'clock. All right, buddy. Good to hear from you. Wish I could be there. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have miles to go before I sleep. Kathy in New Orleans, uh, welcome. Hi, how are you? I'm very sorry. I'm very hoarse. I've been sick for the last few days. That's okay. But I wanted to, okay. I am, excuse me, Agent 76, along with Gary King on Patriot Radio in New Orleans um, for three years now. And I wanted to tell you about something that we've been doing this year. It's been really good. We have our, um, our weekly chemtrail report by our actual weather girl. And um, it's been really good. We, we track the chemtrails from Baton Rouge to Mississippi to New Orleans, and we have um, a girl that comes in and does a weekly chemtrail report. And I just well, that's, that's that. good because you're, the government's now being forced to admit they've been modifying the atmosphere, and lo and behold, it's exactly what chemtrail researchers said 15 years ago, barium salts, aluminum dioxide, and other little, little goodies. And ha haven't I met you guys before? Yeah, we came to Austin and we met you when we wanted to start our show, and you gave us um, some really good tips, and we've been doing it ever since. So well, you've done well. Great. You've done well, Kathy. i got to jump with one more tail gunner. Cindy in North Carolina, you got about 45 seconds. Go ahead. Hello, how are you? Good. I just want to say you are uh, my John the Baptist. Um, we need... We need you out there. There's a lot of people like me. I'm a grandma that can't do much anything. I'm young, though. <laughs> can't do much of anything but get on the website, get on the get on the um, information and get what we can get out that comes from you. And we are so glad that you are out there. I am glad you are doing all you can. I want you to focus and keep us going out here because you're the reason that we're getting angry and we're waking up and we're doing whatever we can. Well, you're I'm awesome, Cindy. Go. I'm out of time. They're talking about Rupert Murdoch stepping down. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want.